it's easy for us to confuse our American freedom with our Christian freedom mm -hmm. and to combine those things and have those two things kind of slide together. I hear a lot of people say, well, I'm free. I can do this. I'm free. Now, I just think there's that we need to make the distinction in terms of what our American freedoms are, uh, if you're a citizen of the United States, and what your Christian freedoms are. And I don't think often when we are <laughs> using our American freedoms that we're combining that or thinking through what our Christian freedoms are and how those should interact with one another. Your Christian freedom is mainly, according to the scriptures, your Christian freedom is mainly that you are supposed to obey God over the human authorities when they tell you to do something that is against God. That's your Christian freedom, right? It's also, your Christian freedom is also, another way of subverting, I think, is to remind rulers of what they are called to do. In other words, when they step outside of the authority that God has given them, when they start telling you who you are to worship, <laughs> when they start telling you what your confession should be, they are thereby stepping outside of the authority that God has given them, and we should call them to account for that.